What's up, Outriders? Amber here with another build guide. And if you're a Devastator, or whatever class you're playing, seems to be getting killed more quickly after this latest patch, then this video is for you. This gameplay was recorded after the update on April 30th, and I want to share the changes I had to make before I could gold this Archways of Enoch expedition at the highest challenge tier like I could before the patch. I'm going to showcase this on my Devastator, but the principles can be applied to any class. Technomancer, Pyromancer, Trickster, or Devastator. Because we're all basically having the same problem, or at least one major problem. It seems that this patch increased the damage of the enemy attacks. Specifically, the Broodmother's swipes kept killing me basically one-shotting me, and I'm hearing other people say the same thing. So I had to modify my build to compensate. So if you're having the same issue, here are three things you might try. First, I'm using the Boulder Dash skill to charge at the Broodmother when she tries to swipe me. Before I had the Endless Mass skill in that slot, which works great against the trash mobs to pull them together so you can demolish a half dozen at once. But Endless Mass and skills like that don't work very well against elites because they can resist the skill and then it does absolutely nothing. So to increase my damage against elites, including the Broodmother, I swapped in Boulder Dash, which they cannot resist and which also makes me basically invincible for a second of two. So instead of Earthquake, Endless Mass, and Gravity Leap like I had before, now I've got Earthquake, Boulder Dash, and Gravity Leap. Some players just really hate the Boulder Dash skill, but honestly, I kind of like it. It looks really goofy and is hard to control, but is so satisfying when you land it just right. And in this clip now, I'm lining up to use Boulder Dash one more time, and although I dashed a little bit past her, it's no problem because it put me in a good position to use my earthquake and weapons to finish her off. So that's the change I made to my skills. I also had to make a change to my class tree. So the second change is I took two points from the bottom branch from resistance piercing and moved them into the middle branch giving my Devastator a 10% increase to max health and, more importantly, a permanent 20% armor increase. Maybe I'll figure out another way to increase my armor, but for now, this was a quick way to be more tanky, to match the enemies who seem to also have become 20% more tanky after this patch. The third change was to one of my armor mods. I'm going to scroll through my weapons and armor so you can see exactly what build I'm using, if you're curious. And I made another video on why I keep swapping between my primary and secondary weapons. I'll link that on screen, and it's also in my Outriders playlist, linked in the description below. So the change I made was on my helmet. I took out Emergency Stance, which got nerfed in the latest patch, and replaced it with Phantom Dash, which might seem totally unrelated, but it serves a similar purpose of saving my butt. For example, if the Broodmother is about to swipe me and my skills are on cooldown, I can use Phantom Dash to get away. There's basically no cooldown on Phantom Dash. You can keep dashing until you're out of harm's way. It's also really useful with boulder dash, because you can dash backwards after you boulder dash forwards, so you can quickly return to your original location after using the skill. And I don't think boulder dash does any damage against flying enemies, but it does at least protect you for a few seconds while you're running toward them, as you'll see in this clip. This is not the perfect Devastator build by any stretch, but it can gold the CT-15 expedition, and whether or not you're doing expeditions or just starting the main campaign, I hope these tips will help you out and let me know in the comments what worked and didn't work for you. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more.
guides, and gameplay for Outriders.